Hey guys, Andy here and welcome back to my channel. So for this week's episode of 5 Minute Marketing, ang isi-share ko sa inyo ay some personal insights and personal experiences why I think brands should be able to invest or start investing or consider including in their strategy an investment towards gaming or what we call esports industry right now. As we all know, Gaming is a universal language. One way or the other, sigurado naglaro ka ng games sa buhay mo. Kunwari, Mario, Tetris, or anything related to PlayStation, consoles, PC games, and the likes. So, ang daming games na ngayon, no? So, as we all know, esports or the gaming industry is rapidly growing. And this is based on actual reports and figures coming from different official sources. So, uh, according to Business Insider, the esports industry is expected to reach $1.5 billion in like 2 or 3 years' time. So, how wild is that? And we can also see a lot of esports investments and as well as esports capital ventures really pushing uh, the boundaries of esports not just in Southeast Asia, but in Asia Pacific in America and also in Europe. So these are the big areas where esports and gaming is really growing. So guys, I want to give you three main reasons why I think brands, companies might consider or should include in your strategy a gaming investment. So for me, reason number one, and this is based on my personal experience, is that number one, uh, gaming as far as I know and as far as what I'm seeing right now has become mainstream. So what do I mean about it? So meaning is that gaming has become a universal language across demographics, psychographics, and as well as different audience group. So pag tinignan mo ngayon, almost everyone plays games. Meron dyan, of course, yung mga Mobile Legends, Dota, Counter-Strike, Valorant and other and other popular games right now Minecraft but if you would notice games right now is actually being shared by different age group so pagka sa bata diba minsan nakikita natin or alam natin sa mga sarili natin na ang mga bata ay also naglalaro na rin ng games so may Minecraft merong of course sa mga med, sa mga teenagers very popular yung mga mobile games, di ba? So, meron dyan yung ML, Mobile Legends, uh, Call of Duty, and all the things that you might want to check into the in your gaming apps, no? Uh, and then, syempre, sa pagtanda-tanda mo ng konti, you also have other games that you might want to also play or you are playing. So, ano ba yung mga example na yun? So, before, meron tayo ng mga Farmville, meron tayo ng mga Candy Crush, and other games, sobrang dami talaga. So what I'm just saying here is that games has no boundaries right now. So another observation that I have, guys, when I was managing a gaming brand a uh, few years ago is that I see that the gaming industry, particularly the gaming market, has a purchasing power. So sobrang good news non para sa lahat ng brands. So bakit? Uh, Siyempre, pagka itong eh, yung, yung mga gamers or yung mga into gaming, uh, they have money to spare. Ibig sabihin, may purchasing power sila. Pwede nilang bilhin kung anong gusto nilang bilhin. At kung gusto nilang bilhin yun at na-convince sila na yung product na yun ay relevant for them, they will definitely buy. And I've proven this personally. So, say for example, there are also other brands not related to gaming that are investing into gaming. So, ano yung mga example na yun? So, meron dyang brands ng energy drink, meron dyang brands ng airline, meron dyang brands ng uh, poultry. <laughs> diba? Who would have expect na may poultry sa, uh, sa gaming? And a lot of other brands that you're seeing right now are actually not into gaming. Their market is technically not a gaming market, but they invest in gaming. Why? Why are they doing so? In my personal opinion, again, is that because they see that the gaming market 
has a purchasing power and it is relevant for them. And lastly guys, for me, based again on my personal experience, investing in gaming, in esports, and its different activators uh, is very cost efficient. So I'm comparing this again to above the line and below the line advertisements. Uh, rather than doing that before, what I personally did is that I put specific placements in different streamers and different tech reviewers in different collabs with uh, gaming influencers because it reaches more targeted audience based on their uh, audience group or yung, of course yung followers nila and at the same time I see the eyeballs real time so ang perfect example ko nito is that if someone is streaming and then nakikita mo kung ilan yung nanonood it's as simple as that Say for example, there's someone who is an, a streamer, no? And then he or she has uh, live viewers of 20,000. So real time, nakikita mo na kagad yung performance or yung eyeballs na nakakakita sa placement, sa brand collabs mo, or sa brand partnership mo. Doon sa influencer, doon sa streamer, or sa gaming personality that you are partnering with, di ba? So that's what I mean when I say that it's very cost efficient as compared to above the line and below the line advertising. Again, this might be uh, something that you are not yet very open, but I'm just sharing with you some of the things that I personally experienced when I was exposed to the gaming industry. So ito yung mga considerations that you might want to think of and you might want to consider when you plan your marketing plan or when you develop your business approach in the next years. So guys, kung hindi nyo pa nako-consider yung gaming or esports industry sa business plans nyo, uh, maybe you might want to read more about it, explore some partnerships, siguro mga small partnerships muna, especially if you're not yet very comfortable investing into gaming and then review it afterwards check the demographics check the analytics check the people that you partner with and make sure that uh, all the message that you communicate to your uh, different touch points in marketing efforts are aligned with your gaming strategy or your gaming industry approach no so in by that way you were able to evaluate and see the return of investment that you put into gaming versus the investment that you put in advertising above the line or below the line. So again, this is something that you might want to consider in the future. Okay? So ang last tip ko guys is that when you want to invest in gaming, make sure that this is something that you're very comfortable doing. And if this is not part of your business priority, maybe you just need to read up more and understand what other brands are doing. And then later on, if you see the opportunity, I suggest you try it because in my opinion, brands, particularly those who have been targeting a bigger mass audience, should be investing in gaming because again, gaming is a universal language and it is actually becoming a mainstream industry that all the people that you might know are already engaged with. So guys, kung bago lang kayo dito sa Facebook page ko or sa YouTube channel ko, I would like to ask you guys to subscribe or like my page because I always upload 5-minute marketing tips and marketing ideas dito sa Facebook at sa YouTube channel ko. So again, please do subscribe, comment, and share this to your friends. So guys, dati yung akala nating laru-laru lang, pwede na pala siyang maka sa business success mo or sa market success mo. So my recommendation is that you might want to read up about gaming, esports industry, and how to do marketing activities around this effort. So guys, sana may natutunan kayo sa 5-minute marketing natin this week. Again, if meron kayong mga marketing strategy o mga marketing tactics na gusto nyong malaman dito sa channel natin, comment down below at sisiguraduhin kong babasahin ko at re-replyan ko kayo ng mga realistic solutions na pwede nyong i-apply sa business or sa brands nyo. Again, I'm Anvi Factora. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you again next week.